Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to sign up and configure your Cosmos eSync integration with Lightspeed Retail, Point of Sale, and a shopping cart like Magento. First thing we're going to do is sign up. You'll get a notification to manage your billing. You can log into your account and manage your subscription from here with your username and password. Now, a welcome email to eSync. From here, you can click to access your eSync account and confirm your email address. You'll also see credentials for your demo store. This is a Magento demo site. You can see your account settings. Click here and username and password. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to confirm my email credentials. I'm also going to create a password and get access to eSync. I mentioned previously plans are based on actions. As you log in you say you have not created any actions yet. That is true. Now you, I'm going to show you how to configure your account. Create action. Lightspeed connector. Grant access. You will have to grant access to your account. You have to name your account. and provide your API key where you can get this information from Lightspeed Retail. Access your account. You will also find instructions on how to get your API key at your right. Now we've granted access to our Lightspeed store. Let's click continue. We have to choose our shopping cart. We're going to do Magento. So now we have a Magento demo store. If you choose a drop down, you can also add your live store. But in this instance, we're going to begin testing with our demo store. Continue. Now choose your actions. So we have to add these actions to our account. We're going to want to test with matrix items and choose a time frame. You can go back a few months if you like, or you can go back a few days. Um, the reason you want to choose a time frame is because eSync will grab your product data based on a date timestamp. Anything that has been touched will display a date and a time frame and eSync will grab those items at that time. We'll click, click continue and save action. Now click on actions. Now you'll see we have Cosmos Lightspeed Demo Store send matrix items to the Magento Demo Store. Let's create another action. Go through the same process, pick Lightspeed, continue, choose Magento, Magento Demo Store, continue. Now send products to Magento. And these are simple standard products. They're not configurable products. So let's do the same thing. We're going to go back a few days. Continue. Lightspeed, send products to Magento. Save action. Let's look at actions. We have two actions. If we want to create a third action, we can do that. And the third action would probably be order downloads. So let's go ahead and do that. Magento, demo store, continue. I'll send orders to Lightspeed. So Magento send orders to Lightspeed. You will also have to configure where those orders are going. Which payment type are you going to use? Most likely a credit card. Which register is this going to? Choose your register. Which shop you like Lightspeed? Uh, our shop is called Cosmo Central. Which employee is going to handle these? So so you can reference all online orders. We're going to go eSync, eSync. Do you charge shipping costs for orders? No or yes? We're going to say yes. With shipping, you have to match a SKU in Lightspeed so items can be downloaded and itemized properly. This is the name of our shipping SKU. Do you charge taxes? If so, hit yes. For this demo, we're going to say no. Continue. Magento, send orders to Lightspeed. Save action. Now let's look at all our actions. We got matrix items, send standard products, and Magento Demo Store send orders. Let's go back to task. So now we're going to want to create a task. A task is a grouping of actions that you run on the same schedule. So let's create a task. Now you have to add an action to your task. Add matrix items, send products, 
done. So if we want to organize these in any way, we can send simple products first and then afterwards run matrix items. You can set your scheduler now. Set every day, every hours, by the minutes, etc. Or you can run manually. Right now we're just going to task name, update matrix, and standard products. Save task. Let's create another task. Add action for orders. And during the demo store, send orders. Let's add this one. Give it a friendly name. Download Magenta orders. Save task. Now we have two tasks. We can run these now manually or turn the schedule on. In this instance, I'm going to want to start running our matrix items. So let's run our matrix items and standard product updates. So next, let's go and look at our stores. Here's your Magento demo store. That's the front facing, and here's the back end. Admin access. Login. Since this is a demo store, you may get a certain pop-ups from Magento uh, regarding the software. Now let's go, let's go to Catalog Manage Products. You'll see there are 17 records in here right now. Let's go back to our dashboard. You see that this is still running. It's running matrix items and standard items. If I go back to our Magento store, hit refresh, you'll see it's still updating. Now we got 23 items. If I go to the dashboard, but right now it looks like it is completed. Let's close this out. Go back to Magento. Hit refresh. So it looks like we got 53 records that uploaded. Next, I want to show you how to activate your live cart. So let's go back to our dashboard. We're going to want to create an action for our live cart. So let's create action. We know we're going for Lightspeed, our first connection. Lightspeed demo store. And we want to connect to Magento, add a different account. Please follow the instructions on how to configure your Magento store. Magento Live Cart, we'll give it a friendly name. Your URL, in this case, Magento Demo, 19x.cosmocentral.com. Enter API user, Cosmos. E sync and enter your API key. Access account. Continue. Send products to Magento. Continue. Save action. Now we want to create a task. So now we want to add a new action. Cosmos Lightspeed Demo Store sends product to Magento Live Cart. Let's add that action. Update simple products to Live Store. Task name, save task. Now we can run our task. If we go to our live store, catalog, manage products, you'll see there are items uploading. We have three total records found. If I hit refresh, now we have six. Now let's go to the dashboard. You'll see eSync is still running. I'm going to go to the Magento cart, hit refresh on our live store. 
And you can see now we have 24 records. Let's go back to our dashboard. You'll see that this has completed. Now let's go back to our shopping cart, our live store, Gento Demo 19X. Hit refresh. Went from 24 to 25. Everything is done for now. So what about updating items from your live point of sale? Now let's go to inventory, quick edit items, and I want you to pay uh, particular attention to duck bandana and duck koozies. Let's change the price of duck bandana to $7.99. Duck koozies, we're going to do $2.99. And what about the Rose Bowl ring? Let's go $79.99 hit save. But what about inventory? See we got quantity 29 duck bandanas. Let's say we got some stock in. Inventory. Let's add quantity 11. Add inventory. Now we have an in stock of 40. Let's go back to our items. You now say duck bandana 40, price 7.99, 2.99 for duck koozies. Let's log into our live cart and search for duck. Duck bandana, five dollars. Duck koozies, buck fifty. And you can see the quantity, twenty-nine for duck bandana. Now let's run eSync. Update simple products to live store. Run. And we're done. Go to store. Live store, hit refresh. You know duck bandana now $7.99, quantity $40, and duck rose bowl ring $79.99, duck koozies $2.99. Now that we've tested the integration with a demo store and your live store, we would like to conclude this presentation for now. Thank you for joining the presentation. And if you have any questions, please contact sales at cosmocentral.com.